Okay, afternoon and welcome to another session. So let's get ourselves set up in our standing positions first of all. So feet underneath, knees under hips. Pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in. And then that weight even through the front and the back of the feet. Just getting myself nicely grounded to begin. And nice and easy when you're ready. Nice breath in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. You start to let the rhythm of the breath and the spine just come naturally. So as you're breathing in, opening up into that extended position as you breathe out, kind of deflating into that flexed posture. Breath in, breath out. More. Breathing out. And then just relaxing there. Good. Shoulders coming in. Breath in. Lift up. Breathe out. Round and down. Always just control the breathing at your own level. You find that taking the big deep breaths feels a little bit too lightheaded and just calm it down, comfortable with the breathing. Deeper the better. Hold on, big breath in and lift. Down. And then again. Moving from that kind of flex, relaxed, up into the lifted, extended position, out and down. Mm. more and relaxing there a brief pause okay Just a little bit of neck movement rotation wise a breath in to prepare breathe out look over the shoulder breathing into the middle out, look over the opposite shoulder, breathing into the middle, breathe out, look over, Excellent. Good, breath into the middle, breath out, tail the ear to the side, breathing into the middle, breathe out, breathe into the opposite side, breathing in, In and relax, and just holding the position there. Good. Here we turn the upper quadrant, just moving into the trunk. So we're going to take a breath in, reach down to the side. So, when you're ready, 
Relaxing down. Into the middle. Down to the side. Middle. Don't bring that focus back into the breath work. Notice your symptoms. Instead of bringing the focus onto those symptoms, just acknowledge them. Shift back to the breathing. Um, on the out breath, just reach over. Hold that position. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out to the side. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out, relax. Take a pause of the breathing there. Okay, coming into some rotation work. So our starting position, soft knees, feet a little bit wider. And take that breath in. As you breathe out, reach round. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out and round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Send breath in. Last one round. Breathe into the middle. And now just relaxing down there. Fantastic stuff. Okay, just a bit of hip mobility, stretching side to side. We've done the kind of hips fixed and hands sliding down. This is where you're almost fixing the upper trunk. And just stretching some here on the lateral parts of the hip, trochanters. Good. Three, two, and one. Relaxing in there. Good. Dropping a little bit of lower limb. So gentle knee bends and return as you warm up. A little bit deeper each time. Relaxing there through the tiptoes. Not popping in your tendons and joints, nothing dangerous, not harmful. One, with some whole spine motion and a little bit of balance before we add in our weights. So let's breath in. And as you breathe out, chin tucked in. How far you go, you decide. Force any movement. Good. 
Then Good. Okay, we'll come back to those when we have the weights in. So some balance work, so nice and easy. Just going to do a bit of a yoga type pose. So I'm just going to bring one foot up to the side, rest it below the knee, or if you've got mobility of the hip, you can bring it above the knee. Okay. And as you're holding that position, just going to take your arms out to the side. Good. Take them overhead. Seeing stuff, keeping that balance. Good. Relaxing down. Just release the tension on the leg. Good stuff. Okay. Opposite side. So remember, you can rest it here. Okay. If you've got mobility, bring it up a bit higher. Again, as you hold, arms to the side. Overhead. Slowly back. Slowly down there. Good. Okay, just relax the tension up and over. One more on each side. So, I'm going to bring one foot up and hold. And you hold there. Nice and easy. Arms out to the side. Good. Reaching a bit taller. Head. Excellent. Back round. Down. Good. And last time on the opposite side. Again, positioning the foot. Balance. Right. Excellent stuff. Okay, we pick up some weights. Start down at the feet. Nice and easy, gently up and down through the tiptoes, up to 25 repetitions. Okay, so you choose how many you're doing. Four, five, then. Twenty. Twenty-five. There. Good. So I feel a little bit of a warm up of the calf muscles into the arms. Then shoulder height out in front. And this time up to 15 or even up to 20. So you can choose. Then maybe you're working at your own ability. So you're going to raise in front and down. Five. Then 
saying, Yeah, excellent. So remember, always working your level one's enough. If you push on, try and keep a record of how many you're doing and build on that each week. So, we're going to work on some squats. We're going to take our feet a little bit wider than we normally would. Okay, put your weights just hold in front from this position, then just sinking down and back up again, up to 25. Ten. Ten. And 25. Good. And just side raises with the arms, the shoulders out to side. Again, 15 or 20 is the top end, and anywhere in between. You ready? Raise them down. And more. Good. Feel that all through your trunk, shoulders, back, everything. You're going to get back through that circuit, starting on the tiptoes, back through as we did before. So when you're ready, up to 25 as the top end. Onto the tiptoes and down. And Twenty five, good front raises, those arms coming forward. I say up to fifteen or twenty, you're in control, that's your own abilities. Here we go. And um. 
Good. Squats and side raises. A little bit of trunk work. Are you ready? And down. That's 25. Good. It's conscious to change position, bring your feet a bit wider. 11. Oh. Okay, good. Okay, side on the shoulders, and we're just changing weight. Okay, so up to fifteen or twenty. Ready? Over height. Uh, excellent stuff. We pop uh, one weight out of the way. <clears throat> Side trunk work. So reaching down, move it over. Lots of fifteen on each side. Fifteen there, uh, good. Switch and again, way down and through. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one there. Finishing off. Excellent stuff. Okay, put your weights out of the way. If you need one. So when you're ready there, next position, I'm going to be on our time, uh, on our hands and knees. When you're ready, just take yourself in that kneeling position. <clears throat> so 
holding there. Going forward, back through pelvis. Start off just the movement of the pelvis and the lower back, a little bit of rib cage. Progress all the way in. Oh, lift the ribs, all head, neck, and in. Three, two, that's one. Put your hold sort of in a neutral position in the middle. Leave your hands forward, sink your bottom down, stretch out through the shoulders, ribs, back and hips. Increase that stretch using your breathing. Deep breath in. And the ribs at the back expand. Good. Kneeling pose there. Space behind you. you push your leg behind. Return. Need to take a rest, take a rest. Otherwise, keep challenging yourselves. Make it a little bit more challenging in terms of the core muscles. The opposite arm and opposite leg work together. You're holding a good position. A nice stable platform from the hip and the arm to work from. Good, so you've got the leg on its own, a bit more challenging, opposite arm and leg. And then you can do a double movement, so you stretch, tap, stretch, and then down. Up in the middle, away. So you've got different options, rest if you need to, legs on their own, opposite arm, opposite leg. And then a double movement. This one. Pressing down there as you hold then. It's always rolling forward and back. Feel so the muscle activity going on in that lower back hip area all connected. Sink the bottom down. Focus on your breathing. Good. Okay, I can come on up front. <coughs> so the position. Not always the most pleasant, but if you're comfortable working there, fine. Sometimes find it a bit more comfortable if you pop that pillow down under your hips, like so, and then you can lift the lower in a similar fashion. So you choose. If you find pain on your tummy not the most pleasant, then you can make it a bit more comfortable with the pillow. So from there, then your eyes and down.
You're not too comfortable with your arms overhead, you can bring them inside. Makes the upper body a little bit lighter. You are comfortable with it and challenge it, have the arms overhead. Makes the upper body heavier. Last one. Yeah, excellent. Okay, just before we change position, we're bringing a little bit of the planks or half plank. So rest on your forearms like so. And you're just going to draw the hips up as if you're passing a pillow underneath your hips and your tummy. So tuck in the tailbone. And not dropping into this position. So you can see I've got arch position coming out of that position using those tummy muscles. Relaxing down. Again, how long you hold, you're in control. 10 seconds if you can, a little bit longer, up to you. Whatever you can manage. Again, lift and hold, tuck the tailbone underneath. Nice controlled breathing. And let's come up, hold that position. Last one. Easy down there. And those hands under the shoulders, back into kneeling. Just going to loosen again at the trunk. So nice good stretch of the trunk. out from there, come around onto your side. Okay. So we're looking at five different positions. So next one, so we start here, then we're gonna move the hips around and so on. And for each of the exercises, we're gonna aim to push, or I'm gonna push up to 20, but you need to choose where you're gonna work. So if you're doing copying me, that's gonna be a hundred repetitions. So think about it, do five, that's gonna give you 25 reps, 10 will give you 50 and so on and so forth. Okay, so first position, as we said, sort of high sitting, I'm gonna raise and lower the knee, okay? So I'm gonna work for 20, you do what you feel comfortable with. Five. Okay. 
So from there, now shuffle the feet back in line with the body. The hips stay in a firm position, knees bent. Feet stay together on the floor. I'm going to open and close the knee. Get up, we're going to push up to 20. You do what you feel you can control and manage. Five. And twenty. Good. So these muscles here warming up. Yes, if you need to, you don't have to force anything. The third exercise, that same start position, but a whole leg lifting again. Okay, so we're up and down, up to 20. And 20, good, okay, feet stay together, take your feet off the floor, again, up to 20, but five, steps absolutely fine, 10, 15, you choose. Twenty. Excellent stuff. Last position then. Drop the feet back behind you. Some knees are in line with the body. And again, twenty is the top range. Anywhere in between, lift and lower. So your legs should be feeling pretty heavy. Muscles in your bottom working strong. If you've had enough, then just rest. Absolutely fine. Five. Good. Okay, so that's one side. Come sit yourself up and switch over. Put that on the other side. So that sort of sitting on your sides and knees up in line with the hips. And again, sort of 20 top end, anywhere in between. Off we go. Five. Yeah. 
Good. Drop the feet back to that plan position. Feet stay together on the floor. Open and close the knee. Twenty, fantastic. Same start position, top leg lifting lower. Up to twenty, you work your own level. Twenty, excellent. Feet together, open the up, uh, feet up in the air, and then open and close the knee up to the twenty. Anywhere in between. Twenty, good. And so drop the feet back behind you. And that last, last part. All leg lift to lower. Up to twenty. Then. Excellent stuff. Okay. Gluteal muscles well and truly worked. Ease yourself onto your back. A little bit of abdominal work before we stretch off. So just to loosen that lower trunk, just knees together, roll the knees side to side, might get a click or a clunk. Yeah, nothing dangerous, just soft tissues moving across each other, gas releasing. Nothing harmful in these positions. Good. All right, so as you're holding there, then just working front part now. So, tummy muscles in the front of the hips. So, first off, just do a leg slide, push the foot away, and return. Opposite, and return.
Yeah. And a bit more challenging, you raise up, you lift the foot off the floor, and then you push the leg out, back and down, and the opposite. Yeah. Make that a little bit more challenging then. Bring one knee up, both knees up. That's your starting position. So as you hold, push one foot away, turn, and the opposite. So. Good. So then you're working at your own levels. Stop the pause if you need to. If you're feeling okay, shoulders come off. And you're going to push one leg away and then you switch the legs like so. Okay. So level one, slide along the floor. Level two, lift, push away. Level three, holding one leg out and turn. Four, you're switching. Choose five, four, three, two, one. Stick so holding the knees if you put them in the air, relax them down. Relax the legs. And take the trunk. Yeah, stretch the legs out. Deep breaths. Good. Turning back there. So always remembering you choose the level you work at. Don't force yourself. If anything a little bit of challenging, that's okay. But don't overdo. Don't force yourself to play. So. Abdominals, last bit of hard work, drawing up and down. Yeah, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging as you come up, just raise one knee and down. If you find that the muscles of your neck are struggling, take the weight of the head with a hand. And then you're not pulling the head away, dragging the chin onto your chest or anything like that, you're just supporting the weight of the head. So keep your focus towards the ceiling. Again, if you want to challenge that a little bit further, one knee in the air, both knees in the air, and return. Yeah, level one, just the upper body, hands sliding to the knees. Level two, a lift of the leg, the upper body coming to meet it. And your level three. Holding the weight of the legs, upper body coming up to me. 
five, four, three, two, and the last one, if you're holding your legs up, take hold of them, bring them into your chest, relax the head, neck and shoulders down, gently down. Good, just slide the feet away. Nice couple of breaths. Good, and we're just finishing stretches. So back into those bent knees, knees over to the side. Back through the middle and across the opposite side. Into the middle there, good. So, stretches of our hips. So, right, left, left foot resting on the right knee. You're going to reach through, try and pull up that right leg. If it's a struggle with your hip mobility, just take hold of the, the left foot and the left knee and draw it in towards you, like so. Okay. Okay, switching sides. Okay, come into a sitting position. One leg outstretched, one leg tucked in, reach down to that outstretched leg. into your sides. Continuing position. Nice and easy, rolling forward and back. Hands forward, sink the bottom down. Just a few breaths.
Beautiful. Hands back to the knees, bring your head up above your chest. And when you're ready, easing onto your feet. And so stretch to the side. Good. Arms forward, little rotation. Good. And nice breath in. Roll down to finish. Your head doesn't feel too right. Get a bit spaced out and then do it. Stay upright. yourself back to that finishing pose, feet under knees, knees under hips, lift the ribs, shoulders back, chins that same weight even through the feet. Nice breath in. Breathing out to finish. Excellent work. Enjoy the rest of your day.